Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. The Panasonic LX100 Mark II is rumored to be being announced on the same day as Nikon's announcement for their new full-frame mirrorless, August 23rd, coming up very soon. This is over on uh, 43 Rumors, I was just reading this. Uh, and they say a trusted source. Um, so they've had, looks like they've had double confirmation on this. Trusted in new sources, so more than one. Uh, so that's interesting. Not only is it interesting that they're going to be announcing the same day as the Nikon, so hopefully in their mind, and from a marketing point, following on the coattails of the excitement for the Nikon full frames, this camera is a very interesting camera. I owned one. I shot with it for the video situation for about a year. Very nice camera. My good friend Peter Gregg still has the original LX100. Uh, it's a great little camera. It's not quite small enough to be pocketable, which is why I quickly became a huge fan of the LX10. The difference is there is that the LX10 has a one-inch sensor. Today's one-inch sensors are performing at or above early APS-C sensor, so it doesn't bother me. But the LX100 has a micro four-thirds size sensor in it. It's just in a fixed lens camera. It has a very nice lens on it. The LX100 is like a fixed lens. Well, not like a. It is a fixed lens micro four-thirds camera with a 24 to 75 equivalent lens in as far as we were discussing that in um, 35 millimeter full frame terms. So 24 to 75, f1.7 to 28. So pretty quick lens as well. Uh, f1.7 at the wide end is quite quick, and 28 is not a slouch at the long end. Um, it's as I said, it's not fully pocketable. So I mean, you could you could stuff it in your pocket, but it's a little tight. It's nowhere near as small as an LX10 or an RX100, say. But a really interesting camera because you do have that bigger sensor in it. And it had a good following. It was a popular camera. I really enjoyed mine. Um, and I'm curious to see what Panasonic's going to do with it. I'm thinking this may be more of just a kind of evolutionary update in the sense of it'll just bring some of the current tech into the LX100. In other words, we'll probably get the 20 megapixel sensor the GH5 uh, Sports, I'm thinking we'll get that. Um, hopefully some improvements in video autofocus. Maybe it'll be one of the first cameras they come out with a true competitor to dual pixel AF. It's possible. Um, and maybe we'll see something a little different in the lens. Although, frankly, I'm kind of hoping they keep it that way. I'd rather they not go the route of an RX100 Mark VI and give us a longer, slower lens. I really like the 24 to 75 f1.7 to 2.8. If they want to do something really tricky, they could make it a constant f1.7 if they could do that. Might make it a little bigger, but then that might be more of a unique beast. As far as that uh, goes, I think that's pretty much all I can think of off the top of my head that we're going to see in improvements or what I would expect to see out of there. Sure, it'd be cool to see a higher resolution sensor come down the pipe, but we haven't seen or heard anything that I'm aware of coming uh, in the Micro Four Thirds area of more resolution at the moment. It could be. They could be debuting something new, like maybe a 24 megapixel sensor, maybe even a 30. But I'm, I don't know. We're supposed to be seeing 8K from Panasonic down the road, so it's possible we're getting a, a higher resolution sensor in this. Thinking not. I'm thinking probably 20 from the GH5. Uh, and again, uh, a, a constant aperture f1.7 lens would be pretty cool, but I imagine we'll get a similar lens. I think just a lot of little improvements just filtering up from the newer cameras like the GH5. What do you guys think? Do you think we're going to see something different on the LX100 Mark II that we haven't seen? If so, what is it? Let us know in the comments below. What do you think is coming? What would you like to see in an LX100 Mark II? So we really don't have a lot of information on this camera yet. So um, curious to hear what you guys have to say on that one, what, uh, what you think is coming, and also what your desires are, what you're hoping is coming on this. Let me know in the comments below. Always fun to speculate on these and you know what's coming right around the corner as i said august 23rd is almost here thanks for tuning in folks looking forward to hearing your thoughts and stay tuned we'll be back soon here at art of the